This time next year, I'll have my first paid job. How old are you? 19. 19. And why is having your first paid job so important for you? Um, well, basically, it's, it's to help me to, to be independent and um, earn my own money. I'd like to start taking my own responsibilities. Yes. And... Yeah. And um, what's, what's made it difficult to be independent? From the age of four, he was placed on the uh, autistic spectrum, but he was finally diagnosed when he was 10. So what, what do you think of the struggles that Jordan faces in getting a job in the workplace? Because he has difficulty processing information, it can make it quite difficult mm. for people to give him instruction mm. or for Jordan to be able to follow instruction. Mm -hmm. um, so it can all be a bit of a, a bit scary time for him. Mm. What would you like to do? Uh, working in a leisure centre, mm. because um, at the moment, because um, it's my work experience from my college and um, I'd like to actually get a job there to become a lifeguard, because I'm, I'm very passionate about sport. Yeah, this sport was the absolute making of Jordan, competing in the competitions. Um, so what sort of competitions did he do? Athletics. Right. Um, originally started for Special Olympics Great Britain. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. That's amazing. Right. And he does the high jump, long jump and sprint. Um, that picture there was out at the World Games in Los Angeles in 2015, where Jordan won a gold medal for his high jump there. That's fantastic! That is an amazing photo. Tell me. I know, basically. My bestest height for, um, for the high jump that I've done there is um, 170, but yeah, really basically good. in the training, because um, I actually did reach to 175 metres. Did but, you um, in training? Only in the training, oh. only, but in the competitions. <laughs> I, I have to try and reach to 175 metres. Well, yeah, and it's good to have a goal. Yeah. Does, does sport give you confidence? It does. Yeah. It's something that I want to try and do for a, for a living. Mm -hmm. Well, Cathy and Jordan, thank you so much. By this time next year, you will have your first paid job. Good luck, Jordan. Thank thank you. You. So, has Jordan managed to get his first paid job? I really hope he has. Jordan, did you do it? Did you get your first full paid job? I did. I'm, I'm a poolside assistant, so I supervise children's parties. And how often do you do that? Every Sunday. It's weekend jobs. Absolutely brilliant! <laughs> so, Jordan, let's see how you bag the job of your dreams. Jordan comes to us every Thursday for work experience. Right, where's our clipboard? He's very easy to get on with. He's grown in confidence. Oh, yeah. Okay. I really like work experience because I want to participate like everybody else. So are you a member? Yeah. I would like to have a first ever paid job here so I can join the real world. As much as we really like Jordan, it's very difficult and it's almost impossible to say that we will guarantee him a job. We're not sure about his abilities to carry out certain tasks but he's learning and we're very keen to see how he develops and grows. So Jordan's been doing his work experience for some time now. His confidence has grown tenfold. Um, we're off to a meeting with Paul today um, and we're hoping, fingers crossed, that there may be some news about a paid job for him. I've just started my first ever paid job. As a poolside assistant, I supervise children's parties. I feel like a proper adult right now. Have you got everything? You ready I to have. work? Yeah. This job is life-changing for Jordan. Jordan wants to be like everybody else. Jordan's aware of his autism, but he just wants to show people that anything's possible. 
We employed Jordan because of his enthusiasm and his commitment to us. He's been with us for a, over a year now, coming and giving us his time freely. And he's really warmed to us and we've really warmed to him. So we were really thrilled to be able to offer him something. Right, so the kids are here. I better get to it. He helps the guys on Paul's side, the lifeguard. Hey, can I just ask you to move back a little bit? The difference between Jordan now, when Jordan, when he first arrived, he's a completely different person. He's now much happier to be part of the team, and he really enjoys that ethic, so he's just come on leaps and bounds. I'm very proud of myself. This has shown me that I don't need to let my autism hold me back. You must feel really proud of yourself watching that. I am, I know. I, I feel proper independent and yeah. different now. I just, I continued, I never gave up. I mean, I yeah. like the fact that at the beginning the guy said, I'm not sure we can offer Jordan a place, but you proved to him... I did. ...that you can be enthusiastic and you give everything... And I showed every... him, I showed him absolutely more than that. Yeah, you did. <laughs> you, gave, you gave more than was expected, right? Yeah. It's brilliant. And have you been paid? I have, actually. What did you buy? A vinyl player. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> have you bought a record? I've, I've bought a couple of records. Phil Collins, Bon Jovi, because yeah. I'm, I'm such a big fan of the 80s. And... Love the 80s. It's my time, Jordan. <laughs> And so, what, no what difference have you noticed, Cathy and Jordan? His confidence. Really? From not knowing what would become of Jordan, knowing now that he will be all right He'll without all right. me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. He, can, he can cope, he can manage. I know I can, I can communicate properly. Yeah, you can. And it's brilliant, you know, seeing yeah. that. And seeing, in fact, how much you've grown in the last year yeah. as well. Um, You've done so brilliant. You've made us all proud. Absolutely amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Jordan and Kathy, everyone. <laughs>